Okay, so we've already discussed that matrix multiplication is generally not commutative. So in this video, we'll explore this further. So here we have two matrices. Matrix A is a one by three matrix, and matrix B is a three by one matrix. Later on, when we study vectors, we'll refer to these as row and column vectors. But for now, all matrix operations still apply to these special quote unquote matrices. So if we multiply matrix A by B, we perform the usual row by column operation. So we have 4 by 2 plus negative 2 by 1 plus negative 3 by 5, which equals 8 minus 2 minus 15, which equals minus 9. Now, this is a matrix with just one element in it. So it's really just a number. Okay, so we had a one by three matrix multiplied by a three by one matrix. So the resultant matrix is a one by one matrix. Okay, now if we reversed the operation and multiplied matrix B by matrix A, so it's three by one multiplied by a one by three, the operation is still defined because the matrices are still conformable. But this time, we should expect to get a 3 by 3 matrix as the result. So, the operation is still the dot product between the rows and the columns. So we have row by column, 2 by 4, row by column, 2 by negative 2, 2 by negative 3, 1 by 4, 1 by negative 2, 1 by negative 3, and etc. And so this is the resultant matrix, and let's call this matrix C. So that's a fascinating result because in the one instance, we end up just with a number. And in the second instance, we end up with a three by three matrix. And that's a really cool property of matrix multiplication. But as we can clearly see, the operation wasn't commutative because we ended up with a completely different result, depending on the order of the matrices. All right, so we've shown here that matrices of different dimensions are clearly not commutative. But what about for square matrices of the same dimension? Well, let's construct a two by two matrix called matrix P and we'll fill it with the letters of the alphabet A, B, C and D. And let's have another matrix, matrix Q, and we'll populate it with letters of the Greek alphabet, alpha, beta, gamma and delta. Now let's multiply matrix P by matrix Q So again, it should be familiar now that it's a row by column operation. So we have A by alpha plus B by gamma, A by beta plus B by delta. Again, row by column, C by alpha plus D by gamma and C by beta plus D by delta. And now how about reversing the operation? What's the product of Q by P? This time I'll just write it out. All right, so if we compare the product of P by Q and Q by P, we can clearly see that the entries, the elements are different, at least algebraically. In some circumstances, we may have the numbers arranged where if we flip the order of the matrices, the product indeed is the same. But generally speaking, we have to conclude here that matrix multiplication is not commutative. Okay, so again, the take home message of this video is that matrix multiplication is generally not commutative. So we do have to be careful of the order when we are multiplying two matrices. We can't flip them around and expect to get the same result. So that will do it for this video. 
If you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up and please share it on your social networks. And these videos take me a lot of effort to produce. So I would really appreciate any small donation that you can give me. And this will give me the resources to produce more content to help math students of the world. And you can donate through my PayPal link in the description. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.